You know, it's just like, nah, but yeah, okay. that's, I think that's also like about All right, so you think you think men approach less in Miami uh, and... More in New York. More in New York. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. I would say so. Okay. Like what about you? Bums and crackheads. Um, I believe that we've been emasculate, demasculating men. Oh, when, emasculating men. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I I do it personally to God sometimes. <laughs> it's not. It's because Thank you. <laughs> it's it's weird because us women have been, we've had to survive. I believe all of us in some well, wait, way. Wait. So do you think men approach less or more now? Um. I'm, I, I get Less? honestly, it's an energy more. I, I get approached by people all the time when they're like, "You're so thank." You. They're like, "Wow!" Like today, coming here when I was on my way to my car, two men were saying, "You look amazing. Thank you so much Aww. for just being you." And I was like, "Thank you." I was. <laughs> Simp ass nigga. All right. So, all right. So more. It's, okay. So more Simple? guys approach now. No, I yeah. call. No, I call them. It's, maybe it's a motherhood. No, I call them Simps. No, trust me. It didn't. You. Oh, she, uh, yeah, you never know. Yeah. I, I don't know. It's been a personal journey, but. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, great. So you I think men know. approach more in your experience? Me personally, but I yeah. know in general, the digital What do you think about general? It's less? Bad. Okay, less. you more, but in general, less. Yeah. Okay. Um... I agree. I, I, I've gotten a lot. I've gotten this complaint from a lot of women, actually, that men don't really make real approaches anymore. If they do, it's like some bullshit, like they're going to catcall or whatever. I do blame the internet as, as a part of it, but also... Um, I think... It's safer for dating apps and Instagram because yeah. I just send a DM or send a text. You don't respond. Okay, cool. No pressure. Yeah. Right. No actual rejection. Is whatever. Yeah. So yeah. it's safer. Yeah, and yeah. then also the other stuff that you guys mentioned, like the me girls, too. like girls, uh, me too. Girls trying to like get content out of it. You know, guys don't want to get rejected. Like, you know, up for like and get like feel like crap and everything like yeah. that. But yeah, I mean, it's it's very uh, <laughs> times have changed. Man. It's tough out here, man. Yeah, it's tough out here for a lot of guys. Man. <laughs> Holy. Um, okay, Ryan's gonna be here in a couple minutes. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, yeah. sweet. Um, what else we got here? Uh, we got... Where were we? Okay, Big Things of Guan says, um, Can y'all castle the chick in the middle already? Uh, She's whack juice. By the way, there mm -hmm. aren't even a lot of guys going up to women these days because of all the nonsense that has gone on. And by the way, the boxing girl is low-key the sauce. Yeah. LOL. <laughs> I haven't even said nothing. I've been silent. Mm. That's the reason why. That's probably why. <laughs> <laughs> no, Wait, I what? talk and they go, one, 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 one. What does one mean? I don't know, but like, they say one What does a one lot. mean, guys? I'll tell you on Rumble what that means. <laughs> <laughs> All right, made me smile. Says Myron, the comments on Jubilee saying you low value. What you got to say for yourself? <laughs> Who cares, bro? It's getting hot now. Bro, it's super really... hot. Oh, well, you yeah. guys are good now. All right, turn AC back up. You you, you no, warmed no, up now. Yeah, but just a little hot. bit. Yeah, we'll turn AC back on. Take yeah, turn it back up, Bills. You know. Rogers. Okay. Okay. Uh, we got here. Um, no, 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 no. Hold on. I'm just making. I got to do a YouTube filter real quick. YouTube All right, filter. I got one. You got one? Okay. You go. okay. Uh, stole my EBT card at Fifth Alarm Strip Club in Springfield. She stole my what? EBT card. She stole my EBT Never card? Never even worked there. <laughs> what? <That was> you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even dance back there. Come on now. It's not even fully nude. <laughs> that, oh, that's a real and, club? And, 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 and Fifth Alarm is closed. Like, she stole EBT card? What? <laughs> EBT, EBT, EBT card? Dudes know the names of clubs in Springfield? <laughs> Yo. What the hell? Wow. Hey, okay, all right. Uh, I thought they were trolling, but that's really a club. It's called Fifth Alarm? No, it's gone. What kind of name is Fifth Alarm? It was Alarm? literally right next to... A homeless shelter. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah, that's the hood for real. Like, no, 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 no. I, to, I told you Springfield suck, bro. Milk and mamas. Yeah, Springfield sucks. This the hood, ain't it? Springfield sucks. Yeah, no, man. for real. Uh, Ratan C says another lie uncovered about Miss Panama. Her family runs the Panama Canal. Don't let her tell <laughs> that BS about her being raised poor. What? I don't know who invented that rumor, but I wish it was true. Mm. <laughs> they keep saying that my family was like rich and like. We own the Panama Canal. I don't know who came up with that, bro. Because I did this video on YouTube, like with Soft White Underbelly, where I talked about like how I grew up and how I like struggled and came from like literally nothing. And then they were like, "Oh no, she's lying. She came from riches. I don't know where that came." You were on but, Soft White Underbelly? Yeah. For what? Um, they interviewed me to talk about like my upbringing and like my background. No, no, I know, but but why? Because he wanted to talk to me. No, no, but why, why you? I don't know. He called me, yeah. and he was like, do you want to come on? And I did a video. No, but it must be like a reason, like... They I interview a lot of talk to her. fans girls. No, they oh. don't, actually. Don't it was mainly <laughs> because he heard that I, like, came from nothing, had nothing, got raised poor in Panama, in the slums of Panama, and now I got money. So they're like, oh, wow, how did you do Mon that? Money from what? 
teaching. Teaching. You're a bad liar, man. You're a bad liar, bro. No, can I clear? No, yeah, yeah. I know where I got money from. Like, Yo, I'm not dumb. your ass, bro. Holy shit, bro. Okay, but I know where I got money from. <laughs> no, I've, I've never had a fucking... Uh, <laughs> Yo. A Wait, can I clarify something? <laughs> I'm not a virgin no. anymore, so that you guys can stop <laughs> losing your oh, shit. Oh, I'm not a virgin, huh? Oh. So you guys can stop losing your shit in the chat, talk about, oh, the virgin, the virgin. I'm not going to come on here with that. I decided that virginity is a mindset, and <laughs> wow, it's a mindset. It's a mindset, it's a mindset now. now. You can go Virgi celibate. Virginity is a mindset, and it's a mindset that I'm not part of anymore. So, so you can take back bodies just off your mindset. Got it. Like the revamp. The like revamp you can decide whether or not you're a virgin. You and can I decide if you're a you virgin. What? Your mindset. And I decided, mindset free. I'm a virgin. And I decided no. I'm not a virgin anymore. So, point blank period. Just yeah. like that. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm not. <sighs>